Good morning, Coward Football family, and Happy New Year. I am just so grateful for the time that I have with my family and friends. I hope that you had a wonderful time too, a great Christmas, a great holiday break. And uh, I just want to kind of remind you guys and let you know that we have some updates. We obviously have our banquet coming up, which is a very, very, very big event. It's the way we kind of culminate the 2022 season and send off our 2023 seniors the way they deserve to be sent off. And uh, we celebrate the season for both or both teams in the entire program. We uh, recognize and thank the numerous amount of people and, 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 and families that support and help grow our program. And of course, we highlight and we recognize the accomplishments of our players on and off the field. And we enjoy that around some really great food from Mission Barbecue and an unbelievable venue that we set up through the uh, Coward High School Cafeteria. That's going to be on January 22nd, and we do have a registration. Uh, the link through Riser has now been updated, so it's a lot easier to navigate. And so what you'll do is you'll go on there and, and you'll basically register. And if you're going to buy, you know, five tickets for some friends or family that are going to come with you, then all you need to do is hit click on the add-on button and you can add on five people and then pay, you know, whatever amount that, that it's necessary to cover the number of people that you have coming. If you have any troubles, please feel free to text or email me uh, because I, I'd be glad to help you out. And uh, we want to make sure that we get those numbers solidified as soon as possible so that we can make the necessary calls to Mission Barbecue and finalize the number of, of plates and, and food that we'll have to have for that event. The players, of course, are free. The coaches are free. Um, we just ask that the guests and family members help us by covering their portion of the cost of the event. And, and I promise you it's well worth it. Uh, with that, the new year, uh, we started training back again yesterday for the new year. And it would have been training day number um uh, 12th, I think it is. Uh, we've been at it for 12 days now. And so I just want to encourage you to encourage your players and, and, and your uh, athletes who are not participating in a sport right now to come on out and join us in the weight room. I miss them. I sent them a video last night kind of talking about, you know, the difference between looking at something that I have to do versus something I get to do. And I was blessed and honored to be able to get to be a part of your son's lives this past season and I relished in every afternoon that I was able to spend time with them and I think a testament to the way we played throughout the whole year especially as we came to the end uh, it was speaking volumes to the attitude and the disposition that our players had in our program that they weren't begrudgingly coming to practice every day uh, that they looked at the opportunity to come out and practice as something to be uh, fun and enjoy and they love being there and so uh, I, I convey to them that you know if, if they're playing a sport right now I hope that they're playing a sport because they get to and they enjoy playing a sport and they don't look at it as a chore and the same thing's true with the weight room I love to see guys who want to be there and I miss them and, and, and so there's many guys that I don't get to see very often and so I'd love to see them after school uh, with that also uh, we're going to be sending out some videos here real soon speaking about the future. You know, whether uh, your son wants to play football in college or not, uh, I want to make sure that we cover the necessary things that need to be in place to ensure that our players are recruitable, both to play college athletics and to go to college or go to trade school or go in the military or join the workforce. I know there's a lot of information that's covered from our guidance department, and I appreciate their effort in doing that. Uh, but there are some nuances that we need to make sure that we follow up on from an athletics perspective. And also some other things that I think that we might be able to cover and questions you may have in general to help ensure that our kids are next step ready. And so uh, please be aware of that. Uh, but in the meantime, make sure that you're reminding your young men that if you have an 85, let's shoot for a 90. If you have a 90, let's shoot for a 95. And if we're at 70s, we're not cutting because that's certainly not uncommonly great. So let's go ahead and get after it. I look forward to seeing you guys on the 22nd. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call or text or email. I love you. I'm so proud to be a part of this family. I can't wait to see you. I'm out. Boom.